na sa Senado ang Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020. Gagamitin ng Philippine National Police ang anti-terrorism law contra rebuilding new people's army. Good day and welcome to Pros and Cons, where we ask the hard questions and you decide which side of the truth you would choose to believe. The war on terror continues as the government fights against the communist movement, Islamic militants and separatists. The 2017 Marawi siege and the worsening activity of terror groups prompted the government to give our relevant laws more teeth in prosecuting terrorists. But critics have rejected the passage of stricter laws, believing this will violate human rights among others. Today, in pros and cons, we raise the question, how far along is the government doing in the war against terror? How strong are our laws in fighting terrorism and extremism? Should a law that will enhance capabilities in fighting terrorism be enacted? I'm Under Secretary Joel C. Egko, your moderator for the day. The war on terror is not only fought in the mountains or in the cities, but also in the courts and even halls of Congress. That's why certain measures are now being proposed to enhance our ability to fight terrorism on all fronts. No? Uh, at ngayon po, mga kababayan, napakapalad po natin kasama natin sa ating programa. Talaga namang mga pinagkakapitagang mga, <laughs> mga personalidad no? tungkol po sa issue na ito. Whenever we talk about uh, uh, terrorism no? and other related issues. No? So, simula ko po ang pakilala ang ating unang guest. Si Attorney Jericho Yu. Tama po ba, yeah. Attorney Jeric, no? Jericho Yu, uh, siya po ay uh, kasapi ng legislative staff ni Senator Panfilo Lacson sa Senado. Mm. Attorney Jeric, kumusta naman po yung inyong kusina at uh, um, nasaan level na tayo dito ang anti-terrorism bill? Um, as to the anti-terrorism bill, <coughs> tapos na namin siya on third reading. So, um, we're waiting on the House version mm. in, order, uh, in order to synchronize din yung mm. efforts namin into creating a measure that's effective to counter terrorism. All right. Ako po very happy kasama ko po ang aking uh, partner dito sa ating programa, no? Marami kaming magkasama lagi ito ni Yusek Lorraine Badoy ng Presidential Communications Operations Office. Yusek Lorraine, welcome yeah. to the show. Welcome. Ano pala yeah. to? Finally, uh, ah. Finally. <laughs> Tagal na po naming pinagpaplanuhan ni Yusek Lorraine na mag-guest siya sa akin eh. So what keeps you busy, Yusek? What keeps you busy as well? Para hindi ko alam eh, no? NTF work, NTF work. Yeah. All right, so NTF. Which at the heart of at the heart of it is good governance. Yo, yan. Mamaya pag-usapan natin good governance niyan, masaya ang sabi ni you, Secretary. And last but not least, akin pong kaliwa pero hindi po siya leftist. Hindi rin siya masabing con, kundi Kong. Si Kong, another Jericho, the the other Jericho, the program. Si Attorney, ay Congressman Jericho Nograles, siya po ang principal author ng anti-terrorism bill sa Congress. No? At siya rin po ay Vice Chairman ng Advisory Council of the AP Leadership Development Center at member of the National Advisory Council of the Philippine National Police Internal Affairs Service. So, pasok na pasok si Congressman dun sa topic natin na terrorism. Kumusta na po, Kong? Salamat, Joel. Thank you for having me. Okay naman. Sa Kongreso, medyo busy na kami. Um, palapit na yung ating break and marami nang nagahabol ng aming mga legislative agenda. And uh, isa na rin dito yung ating anti-terrorism bill na uh, umabot na sa ikaapat na uh, hearing sa Committee on uh, National Defense, pati sa Committee on Public Order and Safety. Babalik po tayo mamaya and uh, we'll begin our discussion on the anti-terrorism bill. Or kasi law, pwede yung sabihin natin, yung Human Security Act. But, pros and cons, we'll be right back. Wag po kayo alis. Sa matinding laban natin sa Coronavirus Disease 2019, sugpuin din natin ang pagkalat ng fake news. Huwag magbahagi ng impormasyon na hindi tiyak ang pinagmulan. I-check mabuti ang source ng balita. Kumuha lamang ng impormasyon mula sa mga official channel ng Department of Health. Huwag magpadala sa maling balita. Basta't sama-sama at laging handa. Kaya natin to isang paalala mula sa DOH, PCOO, KBP at nang himpilang ito. 
tandaan ang tamang paraan ng paghuhugas at paglilinis ng kamay upang makaiwas sa iba't ibang karamdaman. Basain ng tubig ang mga kamay at sabunin. Unang sabunin ang mga palad at ang likod ng mga kamay. Kuskusin na maigi ang pagitan ng mga daliri at maging ang mga kuko. Isunod ang pagitan ng mga hinlalaki at kuskusin ng paigot ang mga dulo ng mga daliri sa magkabilang palad. Banlawang mabuti ang mga kamay sa malinis na tubig at patuyuin ang mga kamay gamit ang single-use towel o air dryer. Basta't sama-sama at laging handa, kaya natin to. Isang paalala mula sa DOH, PCOO, KBP at ng himpilang ito. Alright, we're back on pros and cons and today's issue is, should we enact a law or another law that will enhance capabilities in fighting terrorism? Bakit kailangan pa natin magkaroon ng anti-terrorism law? Eh, meron naman tayong Human Security Act. Di po ba? So what's the difference? Well, um, um, there's a lot of difference mm. um, with the proposed, uh, with the Senate Bill 1083 and uh, in comparison to the Human Security Act. Um, one would say um, that the Human Security Act is a dead letter law. Um, da dali na lang natin sa numbers, no? Ah. Um, in terms of convictions, um, na enact to, uh, effective 2007. 2007, yes. Yeah. Ngayon, uh, up until now, dalawa pa lang yung convictions niya. Oh. And in fact, may enact nga. <laughs> con 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 yeah, considering that the uh, Human, Human Security Act, marami siyang restrictions eh. Um, first, in, first gen is yung how to prove it pa lang. So there's such thing as a predicate crime mm -hmm. na kailangan mong i-prove. Mm -hmm. So what do we mean by predicate crime? It's a component crime. Um, com uh, 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 it would compose the more serious crime mm -hmm. later on, which is terrorism. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, pumatay ka ng tao in furtherance to um, create widespread mm -hmm. panic. Yes. Um, ikailangan mo mo nang i-prove na, na murder yun, uh -oh. yung nangyari. Mm -hmm. Then you have to prove terrorism. Mm -hmm. So that alone, then you have to prove that it spreads wi uh, widespread panic. Sha may mm -hmm. demand pro uh, demand to the government. Mm -hmm. Yun yung nagiging um, debacle kung, ba kung paano, pa paano So napakahirap. Paano, oh. And bukod, if I understand it correctly, attorney, bukod sa napakahirap nung uh, mga requirements. Now can we call them requirements? Requisites. Oh. Requisites. Yes, yeah. yung requisites. Matindi rin yung parusa do. Dun sa do law sa huhule, pag di niya mm -hmm. napatunayan. Yes, That's totoo yan. That's 500,000 a day. day. So, hindi nga manguhuli. <laughs> yes. Swerte may nakadalawa pa. Yes. Um, in the Senate version, yes. ang ginagawa natin is niredefine natin yung terrorism. Okay. Um, following um, UN resolutions as well. Mm -hmm. At the same time, kung ano ba talaga yung terrorism, dinefine na talaga All right. into uh -oh. certain acts. So right now, do we have an existing definition na yeah, right yes. now that um, we use? Well, we, we we define terrorism by stating the acts, <coughs> terrorist mm -hmm. acts. Mm -hmm. So isa nun is yung it, um, it engages in acts that okay, yan. In the, engages in acts that in, are intended to cause death, death, or um or serious bodily injury to any person mm -hmm. or endangers one's person life. Yun mm -hmm. yung una. Mm -hmm. Yung pangalawa, engages in acts intended to cause extensive damage or destruction uh -oh. in a government or public facility, mm -hmm. public place, or private property. Okay. Third, engages in acts intended to cause extensive interference with damage or destruction mm -hmm. to critical infrastructures. So, itong mm -hmm. critical infrastructures, it includes mga telecommunications. Uh -oh. yeah. mm -hmm. um, fourth is develops, manufactures, possesses, acquires, um, transports, surplus, uh, supplies, or uses weapons, explosives, or mm -hmm. any biological um, mm -hmm. um, explosives na ginagamit mm -hmm. in order to commit the act of terrorism. Mm -hmm. And last, yung release dangerous substances um, causing fire, ganyan. Mm -hmm. yan, yung, yan yung terrorism. Pero may... May ano to ah, um, hindi lang may qualifier to. Uh -oh. um, you can read it in the second paragraph of section 4, mm -hmm. which um, uh, it, it might, it must be for a to, the purpose, kumbaga the intent mm -hmm. is to uh, intimidate the general public, mm -hmm. um, spread uh, fear. panic, fear, no? fear yeah. uh, etc. So yun ang kanilang 
basically it's terrorizing the public yes no? so dito sa by by having a section 4 mm -hmm. having defined the terrorist act mm -hmm. hindi na nawawala hindi, hindi you just have to prove this acts in order to convict someone of uh, the crime of terrorism crime of terrorism mm -hmm. so kung uh na compare natin no ngayon malinaw na yung HSA mahina mm -hmm. talaga no at nakakatawa gamitin if i if I were a law enforcement agent, talagang nakatakot. Kailangan yung requisite masundan. Otherwise, ako yung 500,000 babayaran every day. No? So, ang hirap. So, ito, we're giving more teeth to the or to <coughs> an anti-terrorism measure. Ngayon, ang takot ng iba, baka sabihin, dalawa lang yung HSA. Ito naman eh, mag-open ng floodgates, puro arrest, arrest, arrest kaso. Well, even in the um, debates for the mm -hmm. Human Security Act of mm -hmm. 2007, yun din yung fear nila. Mm -hmm. So, paulit-ulit itong fear na to, kung pag-usapan natin ng Human Security Act or any anti-terror uh -oh. bill, ang number one na kinakatakutan ng mga uh, ibang grupo dyan mm -hmm. ay gagamitin ba itong batas na ito kung maipasa laban sa mga legitimate purposes? Yan. Will uh -oh. this be a form of state terrorism yes. naman? Uh -oh. na, imbis, na meron ng attack against the Bill of Rights ng ating Constitution na mga tao i-aresto left and right ng ganyan, konting uh, welga, konting uh, demonstration sa kal kalsada, sasabihin ba natin, is that an act of terrorism? And ang sagot ko dyan ay hindi. Kung careful tayo sa pagde-define kung ano ang terorismo. Now, ang Senado meron silang version kung anong definition. Pagdating sa House, we are similar but to some extent, mas malupit pa ang house. Mm -hmm. Dahil yung dun sa house, ini-stress ini namin na any stage of the execution. Mm -hmm. So, hindi kailangan na sinabi mo na, o oh, yan, sinunog niya yung, ano, yung tower or binomba niya ang isang transmission uh -oh. tower. E, Act of na. terrorism yan. Yung sa, house of ver yung sa house version, yung sa amin, the mere fact na sasabihin mo na, sige kayo, susunugin namin yan, bobombahin uh -oh. namin yan, that already is an act ah, of terrorism. So you're already that's, causing panic, eh, diba? That's yes, you said correct. bill is dangerous then. A lot of people yeah. are saying it's dangerous. It's just the intent. The then, intent? Then I would be a terrorist because there are plenty of people that just in my mind I I'll would say... I'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I mean, burn you. <laughs> yeah. The qualifier uh -oh. is the intent. Yeah. Ah. So it's not just a threat of mere destruction of yeah. property. It is the threat of mere destruction of property for a purpose na ifo force mo ang gobyerno natin or ifo force natin ang mga grupo na kailangan ninyo gawin ito. So there is that political side na yan. Okay. Yeah. Yung political side na uh, babarilin namin ang tao na ito or susunugin namin ito, ilulusob namin ito, gegera kami dito para tumiklop ang gobyerno ng Pilipinas at tumiklop ang konstitusyon natin. Yan ay terorismo. So, there is a difference between that because of the intent. If you have that end goal of overthrowing government, then that is terrorism. That's overthrowing government with the threat of destruction of property. Kasi marami naman nagsasabi na ibagsak ang gobyerno. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Hindi yan uh -huh. terrorismo. Free speech yeah. yan. Yeah. Yeah. Para maliin ako. Yeah. Mga Free kababayan. Yan. Yeah. Pero yeah. sasabihin natin, ibagsak ang gobyerno para ito ang gawin nila. Ayan, I, have, I have a question. Naman. I have a question, Congressman. Go ahead. Go ahead. What if I were anak bayan, they mm -hmm. recruit minors, mm -hmm. right? To, into the NPA, into the NPA, into the armed struggle, and at the end of that is for the overthrow of government. But Anakbayan is an above ground organization. Mm -hmm. Can you can you can you charge Anakbayan? Sabihin natin na yeah. ang tanong mo bili, bilang isang miembro ng Anakbayan, ikaw ba ay isang terrorist? Yes. According sa bill sa Kongreso, hindi pa. Alright. Hindi pa dahil kailangan ng isang competent court. Yeah. na magsabi ang grupo na yan ay grupo ng terorismo. Alright. Magandang, maganda yung point ni Yusek Lorraine kasi ito yung next question. Any, any one of you can answer, may answer. Uh, kung sa HSA, nagkamali siya ng kinulong, may bayad siyang 500,000 pesos. Like for instance, itong binanggit na grupo, may kinasuhan, and then it was proven na hindi. Hmm. No? Ano yung parusa? Um, 
Oh. Yung sa dati, sa existing law or the Human Security Act of 2007, pag merong na-detain na isang tao na unlawful yung pag-detain, mm -hmm. uh, yung na-prove na unlawful ang pag-detain niyan, dapat babayaran siya ng 500,000 pesos kada araw sa unlawful detainment. Mm -hmm. Yung sa proposal ng House of Representatives, mm -hmm. kung ikaw po ay nakulong uh, unlawfully, mm -hmm ang huwes na ang magde-determine kung ano ang damages papunta sa inyo. Mm -hmm. So, hindi na siya fixed at 500,000. Mm -hmm. Maari siya mas malaki, ma maari siya na mas maliit. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious, okay. I'm curious, Kong. What yeah. made you create this bill? Uh, dahil nung nakaraang kongreso, yeah. uh -huh. on the 17th Congress, yeah. nagsilbi po ako bilang caretaker congressman ng 1st District of right. Sulu. Right. Doon yeah. sa panahon na binombay yung Sulu oh. Cathedral, mm -hmm. pati yung uh, outpost yeah. sa Sulu, na meron mga namatay na mga army. Mm -hmm. At dahil doon, oh, nakita ko, at pumunta ako doon, binisitahan ko ang mga uh, namatay, binisitahan ko ang mga nasa hospital, at nagtanong ako sa kanila, um, ano ba, may warning ba or wala? Pati ng Joint Task Force Sulu, nagtanong ako, bakit hindi nyo ginamit ang Human Security Act of 2007? Mm -hmm. At sinagot po nila ay, dahil hindi po namin magamit. Dahil doon, ginawa ko itong proposal na ito. Alright, that's nice. Uh, however, we have to pause for a little break muna mm. and then we'll go back to the topic, no? yung safety yes. nets. So, when we return, we'll check out muna what the comments uh, of netizens, no? uh, what they are talking about no? uh, or saying about today's topic. So, stay tuned. Alamin kung paano ang tamang pagsusuot ng surgical mask. Una, hawakan ang mask sa strap at siguruhin natatakpan nito ang inyong bibig at ilong. Tandaan, ang may kulay na bahagi ng mask ang dapat nasa labas. Ito lamang ang tamang paraan ng pagsuot nito. Ihulma ang nose piece o maliit na metallic strip ayon sa hugis ng inyong ilong. Iwasan ang paghawak sa inyong ilong at bibig. Kung marumi na ang mask, hubarin nito gamit ang strap at itapon nito sa isang basurahan. Siguruhin ang maayos na paghuhugas ng kamay gamit ang sabon at tubig. Ang surgical mask ay dapat gamitin ng mga pasyenteng may sakit sa baga o mga taong mayroong ubo, sipon at lagnat, mga nag-aalaga sa mga may sakit, at mga healthcare at frontline workers. Maaari ring magsuot nito kung kayo ay pupunta sa matataong lugar. Basta't sama-sama at laging handa, kaya natin to! Isang paalala mula sa DOH, PCOO, KBP at nang himpilang ito. Alamin ang tamang paraan ng pag-ubo upang mapigilan ang paglaganap ng Coronavirus Disease 2019. Ugaliing magdala ng panyo o tissue. Kung uubo o babahing, takpan ang buong ilong at bibig gamit ang panyo o tissue. Kung walang dalang panyo o tissue, maaaring gamitin ang braso na pantakip. Kung nakararamdam na kailangan umubo o bumahing, agad na dumistansya sa mga tao sa paligid. Huwag dumura kung saan-saan, gumamit ng tissue at itapon sa basurahan. Ugaliin ang paghuhugas ng kamay at paggamit ng alcohol o hand sanitizer upang mamatay ang mikrobyo. Basta't sama-sama at laging handa, kaya natin to. Isang paalala mula sa DOH, PCOO, KBP at nang himpilang ito. You're still watching pros and cons. Let's look at what netizens are saying about our uh, topic today. Panahon na bang magkaroon ng isang batas na lalong magpapalaka sa paglaban sa terorismo? So, ang poll results po ay 99%. Sinabing yes. No? Oh, 99%. At 99%. Oh. They agree na kailangan na daw. Yeah. At uh, of course, yung natitira, 1%. <laughs> yeah. Nagsabing hindi. Pwede pa po kayong uh, bumoto. Tuloy-tuloy po ito. Uh, let me read a couple of comments from, of course, maraming pabor. No? Uh, basahin ko na lang itong isa. Yung kay Bobby De Santos. Sabi niya, happy. <laughs> Yippee, yehey, make my country's borders, airports more porous again. Are you right? My country's former, current politicians, personnel? Well, yun lang sinabi niya. Pero itong isa, basahin ko kay uh, Kuyang Eddie Makapulay. Sabi naman niya, siguro siya bumoto ng hindi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sabi niya, hindi. Sa aking opinion, hindi na kailangan dahil, mga, ba, dahil may mga batas na dyan na kailangan lamang ay political will lang namumuno na striktong ipatupad ang mga ito na walang bahay ng korupsyon at politika ang dapat palakasin at gawing advanced at moderno ay ang kasanayan, intelligence network, gamit makaarma sa ating sandatahan at kapulisan sa paglaban sa terorismo. May punto si 
Kuya Eddie Makapulay. And, ayun, ang grabe, 99%. Ah. Pero, pero hindi ata sa poll eh. That's Oo. why, that's why tinatrabaho na ng Kongreso uh, through the Senate at saka um, House of Representatives uh, dahil kulang eh. Kulang yung mm. batas. Like, uh, if I may, yes, yes. Uh, balikan ahead. natin Go. yung Sulu, yung Sulu experience mm. na binomba yung katedra. Yeah, that's a good example. Binomba yung, ano, yung Uh, military outpost mm. at saka pati sa Basilan na binomba ang isang military outpost. Kung na-admend na natin ang Human Security Act of 2007 ay mahu mahuhuli natin mm -hmm. ang mga um, ang mga magbobomba. Mm -hmm. Dahil ano ba yung sitwasyon? Yung nangyari dun sa Sulu, yung bumomba niyan ay dalawang Indonesian. Okay. Ang dalawang Indonesian na yan, hindi sila tinatawag na terrorist under our existing law of the Human Security Act of 2007. Pero kung maipasa natin ang House version or ang Senate version na uh, nandito sa atin ngayon, they will fall under the category na tinatawag na Foreign Terrorist Fighter or FTF. Wala pa tayong definition in law on who is a foreign HSA, terrorist HSA, wala, fighter. Wala. In fact, yung nagbomba ng katedral na yan na mag-asawa na Indonesian, mm -hmm. alam na ng AFP na nandito sila sa bansa mm -hmm. as early as four months before the bombing. Wow. And they are known as Jemaa Islamia bombers, okay. suicide bombers, and they are trained to bomb mm -hmm. and trained to teach people on how to do suicide bombing. At dahil hindi nila mahuli-huli, dahil sa kakulangan nga mm -hmm. ng ating batas sa pag-define ng foreign terrorist <coughs> fighter, yan ang right. nangyari, nabomba ang One katilang. of the salient features ngayon yan ng anti-terror bill. Correct. By definition na. Right. To, uh, yes, to yes. To what Kong said, mm -hmm. actually, um, yung kailangan nating tingnan para ma-suppress ma, ma talaga itong mm -hmm. terrorism mm -hmm. or to combat terrorism mm -hmm. is yung prevention aspect. Yun, yes. yun yung sinasabi Proactive niya. Proactive dapat tayo. Kasi ito. kunwari, paano kung may isang uh, foreign terrorist individual na gumawa mm -hmm. ng acts sa ibang bansa, pumunta dito, we, under the present, uh, present Human Security Act, we are not able to combat those. Mm -hmm. Hindi natin alam mm -hmm. kung, sa, kumbaga sa mata ng Human Security Act, they're, they're not considered as terrorists. Mm -hmm. So, kung meron na nung Mahina, House alam. version at Senate version nung, nung panahon na yun, kung na-enact tong law na to, nung panahon na yun, tama nga si Kong, mm -hmm. it could have been prevented mm -hmm. before, sa inception pa lang, nahuli na. Okay. Go ahead, you said Lorraine. I have a question. So the CPP, NPA, NDF, their main targets, the recruitment grounds are the universities, right? That's a fact. That's that's a fact. Will the will the will the if this laws if this bills become laws, will what what can it can can it be stopped? Can the recruitment in schools be stopped? Of of children. Well, speaking about the more proactive, well, the the burden of proof lies with the government. Yes, yes, of course. So, hindi yung automatic membership or mere suspicion of membership of any organization will automatically mean na ganon. Kailangan may burden of proof. Like I mentioned kanina, a certain group is not considered to be a terrorist group until number one. Uh, they are declared as terrorists mm -hmm. by a competent court. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number two, they are recognized by the United Nations mm -hmm. as a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or number three, if they are created for the purpose of sowing terrorism. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. sa House bill. Mm -hmm. Sa Senate bill, how do they define it? Mm -hmm. Sa Senate bill, very similar. Um, we have a specific section, I think mm -hmm. uh, section 26, if I'm not mistaken on prescription. So, okay. mm. again, a competent court, um, which is the Court of Appeals in our mm -hmm. case, um, uh, the government can file mm -hmm. for a preliminary prescription. Mm -hmm. Wherein, ang mangyayari is, ipoproscribe yung organization, itatag siya as oh. a terrorist group. It is determined by the court. By the court. By yeah. the court. No less than Not the court by anybody appeal. else. Yeah. Yes. So, sabihin natin okay. yung situation, sabihin natin ang DOJ, sasabihin nila, yung grupo na yan, grupo ng terrorist Terrorista. yan. That is not considered yeah. Yeah. under Section Alright. 25 ng Senate Bill or Section 24 ng House Bill under proscription of membership mm. of terrorist groups. So, hindi executive, no? That's Judiciary. Yes. Yeah. So, oh. there, there are these safeguards. Yes. Hindi naman yes. because, syempre, ang hinahabol natin 
bilang ano bilang isang kongresista yeah. is the rule of law mm. not yeah, the rule important. by law okay. yes. kasi yung rule you by law the two? All right. yung rule <laughs> ganito yan ang rule of law means sinusunod natin yung batas yeah. Yung rule by law is ginagamit natin ang batas for state-sponsored terrorism. Right. Yan yung hindi natin gusto. Okay. So yung, yung natutunan natin in the martial law years which can be considered as abuses by the state or maybe even state-sponsored terrorism, yan ang hindi natin maaring balikan. Ang gusto natin is that we have the rule of law and that hindi basta-basta itong gamitin. However, gusto rin natin ng uh, new law yeah. to change the existing yeah. Human Security Act. The Human Security Act, the existing law, sinasabi nila terorismo mm -hmm. kung merong rebellion or insurrection, uh -oh. merong mutiny in mm -hmm. the high waters, merong kidnapping or serious illegal detention, mm -hmm. merong crime involving destruction such as arson, mm -hmm. toxic substances, atomic mm -hmm. energy, anti-hijacking, anti-piracy and highway robbery, mm -hmm. pati na rin yung uh, illegal possession of firearms, etc. Yun ang mga predicate crimes. Yun, yun, yun ang mga predicate yeah. crimes na sinasabi ni Attorney Yu kanina. Mm -hmm. And remember, wala dito ang murder. Oo nga, no? <laughs> wala dito ang threat to murder. Ibig sabihin, the mere fact na alam mo na yung tao na yan ay isang ano, isang... Uh, Uh, terrorist okay. na galing sa Middle East na pumunta mm. dito, known terrorist, eh, hindi mo siya makakasuhan under mm. the Human Security Act. Mm -hmm. And yun ang nangyari sa Sulu, sa Basilan, yun din ang nangyari kung kahit saan-saan na nagkabomba or terorismo. Mm -hmm. Dahil alam natin that that person is tagged as a terrorist mm -hmm. internationally but not in accordance to our law. Mm -hmm. May All sitwasyon right. pa ngayon ang maximum days of detention for a suspected yes. terrorist ay tatlong araw lamang sa wow. existing na law. Mm -hmm. Ang gusto ng House, 30 days. Okay. Ang gusto ng Senado, 14 days. Mm -hmm. Pero ang terorismo is a regional affair. Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin, ang terrorism in Indonesia, in Malaysia, mm -hmm. can cross over to Philippine waters yes. anytime. Mm -hmm. Pero ilang araw ang ang, ang uh, Uh, detention, uh -huh. na maximum detention ng Singapore, uh, ng, ng Indonesia, 21 days. Uh -huh. Maximum detention ng Malaysia, 28 days. Uh -huh. Maximum detention ng Singapore, only. Pagdating sa Pilipinas, tatlong araw. Ibig sabihin, kung terrorist ka sa Indonesia, punta ka lang ng Pilipinas. Uh -huh. Mas madali ditong yeah. mabuhay. Because I sit in the NTFL, Kak, I've seen how how this 51-year reign of terror by this terrorist group has really gotten in the way of our progress as a nation and how it has wreaked so much havoc and grief. So I'm really happy that this is happening. And I wish that it really uh, achieves what it s seeks out to achieve, no? Because we've, we've been hijacked our country for the longest time. So I really want us to move forward. So much grief, so much children dying by the yeah. wayside, no? So... I want this to happen. And I, I, now that I listen to them, now I realize, ah, that's why, pala, that's why pala this has happened to our country. No? Yeah. We've been remiss. We've really been terribly remiss as, yes. as public servants that these laws didn't exist. Pala. That's right. That's why. The, laws, the, the, the law exists, pero it's not effective. Yeah, no, <laughs> in fact, it was, it, it, you can also say that it was a huge cause for why this terrorism yeah. in our country has really flourished the way it has. Yes, so. that's right. Anyway, so thank you very much, Yusek yeah. Lorraine. No, sa mga susunod po namin uh, episodes, we will invite Yusek Lorraine again no, to join us. However, so there you have it, folks, and straight from the shoulder and right on the money. So, babalik po kami sa part 2 next week ng ating pong diskusyon tungkol sa anti-terrorism bill at mas pipilitin po nating masukayin pa yung mga issues dito na madali po ninyong uh, maliliwanagan, no? Galing po sa ating mga eksperto na kasama. Don't forget to tune in next week for uh, this hot topic. For your comments, suggestions, and questions, visit our Facebook page and the PNI website. You may be for or against. You may agree or disagree. In the end, we're all Filipinos working towards the same goals. Will you choose what's right? Or will you stay on your side of the truth? Once again, this is Philippine News Agency Supervising Undersecretary Joel C. Egko. 
Thank you and see you next week on the next episode of Pros and Cons. Thank you.